In this video, I'll show you how to create an active campaign birthday automation to follow up with your contacts every year on their birthday to increase brand loyalty. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for Europe based businesses. Let's check it out. So before we build the automation, let's talk about why you need a birthday automation in the first place. A birthday automation is going to help your audience know, like, and trust you. Plus it's going to increase brand loyalty. Okay. It's going to let them know that you're interested in them. You're remembering them. You're following up. And if we take a look at our flywheel here, this is great for the partners and recommendation step of the flywheel, where it says brand lovers will recommend us and will collaborate with us to create more content and opportunities. You're following up. It's an additional touch point, right? This is building that relationship an authentic relationship with your contacts. So this is going to be great for e-com shops, especially you can send out a coupon for them to use. Often you'll get their birthday and the information when they purchase. And that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, you will have to collect this information either from a form when they're filling out a new account, uh, or when they make a purchase, maybe they give you their uh, birthday information then. You can also use this for other special events. It's not just for birthdays. It's great for anniversaries, especially if someone has booked travel or a hotel stay. Uh, you can use it for when someone has joined your membership. So to remind them every year, hey, thanks for spending a year with us, two years, etc. cetera. Uh, and this is logical timing for each of these events. It's logical for you to reach out. It makes sense. A year has passed. It's marking a milestone with your contact and making them feel recognized uh, and appreciated. So let's dive into how to create the birthday automation now. So jumping into active campaign, first, we're going to go to our contacts and we're going to open the navigation menu and just go down to fields because we need to create a field Add a field in the top right to capture their birthday. We'll call it birthday. Uh, we can include it for now in our general details, but the field type, this is important, has to be a date. And then we'll hit add. Okay, now you can see it added here to that group. So now we're gonna go to our automations and we're gonna create a new automation. And you can see here our recipes, if you're not sure what a recipe is or how it works, you can check out this video above. We're going to search for birthday. You can see that there is a Shopify birthday and anniversary coupon as well. And if you do have the Shopify integration, feel free to check this one out. We're just going to use the general recipe right here. Hit continue. And that's going to import the recipe. We'll use the automation setup wizard and click get started. And here, this trigger uses a date based custom field for an event such as a birthday or anniversary. So we want to go to our contact fields and select the birthday field that we created. And we can choose context time zone and hit next. And this email is where you are saying congrats on the special day or happy birthday. You can also include your discount coupon in this email. So we'll hit next. Now you can see in the uh, notes from active campaign here, it says set this condition to check if the coupon link in the special day email was clicked or not. And you'll need to build out the email after going through the import wizard and then specify the link in the if else action. Once the link is added, we're actually going to adjust this just a bit. So I'm going to hit done and I'll show you how I would adjust it. So date is contacts birthday. We're going to send the email. Remember here, you want to jump in here and adjust the copy. So click and go into the email editor here, adjust the copy, and you can deliver your coupon. If you are using Shopify or any other platform to deliver coupons uh, and track the usage of those coupons, especially if they are unique to each contact, just drop a question below and we can help you uh, work out this next step. Because what we're going to do is using integrations, we are going to add a tag. Now we can't build an example for all of the different types of platforms that you can use to deliver coupons. So what we're going to do is just adjust this if else condition instead of has clicked on a link uh, that tells us that they visited the site with our coupon, but it doesn't let us know that they've actually used it, that they've actually purchased. So using our integrations, you can check out our videos on our marketing automation playlist for more about how to use Zapier uh, and how to set up integrations. So that you can pass data from another platform where they've purchased into active campaign to add a tag when they've purchased. So what I would say is tag exists. So we're going to use 
used special day coupon, hit save. And now we're going to check to see if they've used the special day coupon. Again, this would be done through an integration. Just to reiterate that point, someone makes a purchase. We can track that they've used the unique coupon, uh, whether it's through Shopify or another platform. And using an integration with a platform maybe like Zapier, we can add this tag used special day coupon to the contact, check for it one week later. And if they did use it, we're not going to add this tag again. We're going to delete it and end the automation. If they did not use it, we can hit the plus, send an email, and we can call this special day coupon reminder one, even design it later. And you can repeat this as many times as you'd like. Obviously, you don't need to be um, annoying about it, <laughs> but uh, you can drag this condition here down. Okay, hit copy single action. Okay, we're gonna drag the weight block down, copy single action. This just allows you to choose what you want to do with contacts currently in the weight action. And now again, we're waiting another week, checking to see if they've used it. If not, you can send one final reminder if you'd like uh, for them to use their special day coupon. If you have any questions about how to set this up, just drop them in the comments below. We'd be happy to help you out.